My name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N R Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We will be solving math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the revised GRE, second edition. Make sure it is the second edition that you have and not the first edition. If you do not own it already, purchase one immediately. You are going to need it. Let's turn to page number 111, 110 I believe. That's where the story begins. The very first math problem appears on page number 110. Very first math problem appears on page 110. Yesterday, on day 201, we talked about, the, we, we, we solved the problem, the very first problem that you see there, problem number one, which is a new problem. It's uh, something that did, not, that, did not appear, that did not appear in the first edition. But the problem number two that you see on, the, on page number 110, problem number two, page 110, or if, if you want to watch the solution of it, all you have to do is type in this tag, just type in revise GRE, revise GRE math, just type in this tag, revise GRE math, and then whatever day that you need, day one or day two, for example, problem number two, we covered it on day one. Problem number three on the same page, I covered it on day one. Just type in revise GRE math day one and you will see the solution of these two problems. Problem number four that you see on the next, on the bottom of the page number 11. Problem number four, we covered it on day number two. Problem number five on the next page, on page 112 is day number three. Problem number six is day number four. What I want to talk about right now is the problem that you see on the following page, on page number 114. Let's take a look at it. Page 114. Problem number seven. I want to talk a little bit about it for a reason. I'm going to erase all of this thing. You already have this information. One more time, very quickly. Problem one is a new one that I did yesterday on day number 201. Problem number two, all, all you have to do is type in revise GRE, revise GRE math, day, day one. Problem three, day one, so on and so forth. It was a major project when I, that I undertook. Uh, when I uh, when I started solving the problems, math problems in this book, and I said to myself I was going to do every single one of them. It took a long time, and there are 200 videos, as I said, on the channel, and I just don't want to redo everything. It's all there. Let's take a look at page number. Let's look at let's take a look at page one 114, problem number seven. Problem number seven page 114. This problem, problem number seven, is what I would call the granddaddy of all quantitative comparison questions. This question has been around for a long long time. It appeared the very first time this problem appeared, problem number seven that you see, very first time it appeared in this book here, the very old book of uh, GRE, based on obviously the old version of the exam, the 10th edition. By the way, this book contains, if you can somehow get hold of this book, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's just called Practicing to Take the GRE General Test, 10th edition. In this book, there are seven exams. Listen carefully, please. In this book, there are seven exams. Each exam has two math sections, and each math section has 15 quantitative comparison questions. It has seven exams. Each exam has two math sections. And each section has 15 quantitative comparison questions. Altogether, there are 210 quantitative comparison questions in this in this book. The reason I'm mentioning is because even though the revised GRE, as it is called, as as the name indicates, it has been the has been revised. The GRE has been revised. is the new version of the GRE, but the quantitative comparison question is still appear on the new exam. They have not gone away. They have not disappeared quantitative comparison question, so many people have trouble with them, they do not understand what it is that, they, that they're being asked there, and they end up sitting there and solving all the work, doing all the work and solving the entire problem. That is not the bloody point of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of, of the question. These questions are called quantitative comparison for a reason. Our job is simply to compare the two quantity. Nobody is asking us to compute anything. And it requires some practice and some, some knowledge as to, uh, to some acquaintance as to how to solve this thing in, a, in an efficient manner. So if you're interested in practicing quantitative comparison question, 
if you can somehow get hold of this book from the library or something, as I said, it has seven exams. Each exam has two sections, two math sections, and each, sec each section has 15 questions. There are 210 quantity comparison questions in this book, and I have solved every one of them. Again, all you have to do is go to my channel and look for GRE 10th edition, and you will see quantity comparison question. GRE 10th edition, quantity comparison question. You will you'll, you'll find a solution to all of those problems all of these problems. The problem that you see there, problem number seven there, is from this book, as I said, it originally appeared in this book. Now when this question appeared in the real exam, only 20%, only 20% got it right. 80% of people who took the exam, when it appeared in the exam for the very first time, and when I say for the very first time, it doesn't mean that it appears and appears and appears, obviously it appears only once. I mean, when it appeared on the exam, of all the people who were taking that particular exam, 80% of them missed it. If you're interested in uh, watching the solution to this problem, how to do this problem in, a, in, a smart, uh, in an efficient and in a smart manner, just all you have to do is go to, go to my channel again, or rather just type in this tag, revise GRE, day 5. Day 5. And you can watch the solution there. So that was it. That was the that was the problem number seven. Let's talk about problem number eight. I'm going to erase this part now because it's going to be confusing. Problem number eight that you see on page number at the top of the page 115. If you want to watch the solution to that particular problem, again just watch day six. Revise GRE Math, just type in this tag, Revise GRE Math, Day 6, and it should pop right up. You shouldn't have too much difficulty finding it. And if you do have difficulty finding it, and try putting my name along with it, it will pop right up. Problem number 9, on the same page, page 115, the very last problem, problem number 9. And when I say very last problem, is because that's the end of their discussion there, and then they start, the, uh, you will see on page number 117, they start something new. So problem number 9 there, on the, on the bottom of page 115, you will find a solution to that on day number 7. Now, the idea, the reason I, I even though these, uh, obviously there are page numbers there where, where the problem is located, but here's my logic. The reason I use the day number is because this is meant to be a free prep course for anybody and Anybody who's interested, anybody who's willing to put in the time and the effort. And the reason I numbered them by the day is so that you can keep track of your progress very easily as opposed to doing it by the page because some pages will have 20 problems on them. It's uh, sort of tedious. So just go in sequence. Day 1 through whenever it is that where you stop. Make sure you allocate enough time before the exam so that you don't have to do, in, do it in a rush. And just start early. That's, that's the key part. Start early. Do not wait two weeks before the exam or a month before the exam. A good preparation always begins for any exam for that matter, always begins very early, very early in the process. That was it. That was the end of my sermon. I'm in. I will see you tomorrow and we'll just keep on going. I'm going to keep giving you the page number or day number and so forth. And if you come across any new problem that did not appear in the first edition, then I will do that problem. Just like when, just, just like yesterday, the very first problem in the second edition is something that was new and if you watched yesterday's video you will see that we solved it. So if you come across something new we will do it together. If it's something that's already been done I'll simply tell you where to look for it. Alright? Bye now.